Did you know that 99% of people are drinking water the wrong way? It sounds surprising, but even something as simple as drinking water can be done incorrectly. If you're sipping from plastic bottles or drinking water during meals, you might be making mistakes that could harm your health. And these are just two of the many habits that could turn water, our essential life source, into something that works against us. Today, I'm going to share the secrets to drinking water correctly so it becomes your greatest ally on the path to perfect health. Get ready to transform the simple act of drinking water into a powerful practice that energizes your body and spirit. Believe it or not, ancient teachings reveal that drinking water the right way can help heal issues like body aches, stomach problems, and fatigue. Today, we'll uncover a captivating story about an Ayurvedic guru who shared life-changing tips on how to drink water properly. We'll also dive into some Buddhist wisdom to better understand how mindful habits can improve our overall well-being. So, let's embark on this journey together and discover how something as basic as water can bring healing and harmony into our lives. Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a wise Ayurvedic guru. With a long beard and a gentle smile, he taught the villagers about health and well-being. One day he gathered everyone and said, Many of you think water is simple. You drink it whenever you want and in whatever amount you wish. But this is not the right way. Water is essential for our bodies and drinking it properly is crucial for good health. The guru explained that our bodies are made up of 60 to 70 percent water. Every organ, from the kidneys to the skin, needs water to function correctly. Without enough water or drinking it incorrectly, toxic substances can build up in the body, leading to problems like constipation, stomach issues, fatigue, weak immunity, and even skin problems. Just like in Buddhism, where everything is interconnected and balance is key, our bodies also need a balance of elements to stay healthy. Drinking water mindfully, with intention, is a practice of self-care that aligns with Buddhist teachings of mindfulness. The right way to drink water. The guru taught the villagers some simple but powerful rules about drinking water. Drink slowly and mindfully. Always sit down while drinking water and take small sips. Move the water around in your mouth for a few seconds before swallowing. This allows saliva, which is alkaline, to mix with the water and aid digestion. Standing and gulping water down quickly can lead to improper filtration by the kidneys and increase joint pain over time. Just as mindfulness is about being present in the moment, drinking water slowly and mindfully helps us stay present with our body's needs. It's a practice of tuning into ourselves and respecting our body's signals. Drink at room temperature or warm water. Avoid drinking cold water, especially from the refrigerator. Cold water can slow down digestion and cause energy waste as the body has to warm it up. Warm or room temperature water is easily absorbed and helps in digestion. This mirrors the Buddhist principle of balance. Just as extreme thoughts and emotions can lead to suffering, extreme temperatures can disrupt our body's natural balance. Choose moderation and harmony. When to drink water. Drink water an hour before meals or a few minutes after eating. Avoid drinking water immediately before or after meals as it can dilute digestive juices and slow down digestion. Drinking water first thing in the morning on an empty stomach helps cleanse the stomach and prepares it for the day. This practice is about timing and awareness, knowing when to act and when to wait. It's about understanding the natural rhythms of our body, just as Buddhism teaches us to flow with the natural rhythms of life. Don't overdrink. While drinking enough water is important, overdrinking can strain the kidneys and reduce sodium levels in the blood. A balance is needed. About 2.5 to 3 liters of water a day is sufficient for most people depending on their activity level and environment. Like the middle way in Buddhism, which advises against extremes, drinking water should also be balanced. Too much or too little can lead to imbalance and health problems. Signs of dehydration. The guru also explained how to recognize when your body needs water. Signs like yellow urine, dry skin, and a feeling of fatigue can indicate dehydration. Listening to your body's signals and drinking water mindfully can prevent these symptoms. The guru concluded by reminding the villagers that small changes, like drinking water properly, can make a big difference in their health. 
he encouraged them to follow these rules for twelve days and observe the miraculous changes in their bodies. By combining Ayurvedic wisdom with Buddhist teachings, we learn that even the simplest actions, like drinking water, can be a practice of mindfulness and self-care. Remember, it's not just about what we consume, but how we consume it. When we drink water with awareness and gratitude, we nourish not only our bodies but also our minds and spirits. Comment 1. If you believe in the healing power of these teachings, or comment yes if you think it's an interesting practice to explore. Together, let's explore the transformative potential of living with awareness and gratitude, one sip at a time. So, let's start this simple yet powerful practice today. Drink mindfully, stay hydrated, and live a balanced, healthy life.